Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation, homebrew news, and much, much more. So just over the last couple of days, Macaulay, who is a security researcher, has basically given us the files or the ability that we can run some code on a fully patched PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 through a save game exploit named Okage Shadow King. Now, since he's released this sample that we can use, I've went ahead and I've implemented it in this video right here as a fake package on a 9.00 system. And then just yesterday, I showed how you could get a PlayStation 4 that was on 9.00 and run this tool, such as Apollo, and create a save game that you could put on a fully patched system, such as 10.01. And that's what I showed it running on yesterday. Now, fast forward to this morning, I put out this tweet, and what I said was, was that those that want to re-sign their save games but doesn't have a PS4 on 9.00 or lower, or if they don't want to spend $50 on Save Wizard, then they can rent some spaces right here. Now, the reason that I'm bringing this one up is, is that more importantly, I mentioned Save Wizard. Now, Save Wizard is a tool that allows you to re-sign save game files, and it does work with the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. Now, that tool does cost $50 in order to use it, or again, you can rent it. And one quick thing that I'll say before I leave this space is, is that I would be very careful with renting this out. For the most part, you might be able just to rely on the community or rely on somebody that already has a PlayStation 4 on 9.00 to generate the save game for you. This has been picked up by a lot of different people, and if you want a written version of this tutorial, basically, that shows it running on a 10.01 PS4, well, they have a written version that shows exactly how they did it as well, and a big shout out to them or really just including my video on here. It's nice to see some other news sites picking up on some of the work that I'm doing, so give them some love. And then just one quick thing regarding the actual save file. So I did create my own, obviously, in my last video, but if you want to use somebody else's save game file, well, then Echo Stretch has a PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 5 one located just right here. Now, just because I want to test this with his PlayStation 4 version, I suggest that you go over to this Mediafire link right here and then go ahead and download that zip file. Okay, so if you download his file and you go ahead and you extract it, you will see there's this PS4 folder, a save data folder, and then there is Echo Stretch. Now, the reason this doesn't have letters or numbers is because this was a local account that he created this save game off of. Now, what we're going to be very interested in is going to be in this folder, and this is going to be the region dependent on where you live. So since I've been working with this over the last couple of days, I know 2199 is for the U.S., and this other one right here is for Europe. So again, I'm going to be only focused with 2199. So I'm going to delete the other one just to keep things nice and clean. Now, at this point, in order to use this with Save Wizard, you're going to need to right click this and you're going to need to compress it to a zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'm just going to give this the name ES for Echo Stretch. And I did want to thank Thunder Official right here for providing me his key for testing. It saved me 50 bucks and hopefully it helps the overall community for those of you that only will have the ability to do this through a PC. Okay, so let's use the Echo Stretch zip file here. So let's go to Resign. And from right here, there is this import option. I'm going to select the zip file right here. Okay, and on the import save, you can see right here, this one was not attached to any sort of PlayStation network. So again, this was like a all zeros one. So we're going to click on import right here. 
And where it says choose profile, I'm going to select my own profile, which is Michael Crump. I'm going to hit apply. And at this point, it's going to upload the save game to their cloud. And then it's going to sign it there. And then it's going to send it back down to my computer. So this takes a moment. So I'll just cut to when it's finished. Okay, and it does say that the re-signing was successful. And so now this is already on my USB drive. So I could just simply copy this now to my PlayStation Four, and it should work. So let's just go ahead and let's give it a quick shot. Okay, so on my PS4 10.01, I'm gonna go into save data on USB storage. And right there it is. And so it's obviously a very good sign if you can copy that over to your system storage simply because there's already some checks of who the owner is. So now if we go ahead and we begin Okage Shadow King, and if we go to restore here, then it should show. And there it is, hello PS4. We modified the save just using Save Wizard. We didn't need another exploitable PlayStation 4. We really did it all through software. The biggest catch to all of this is that the software does cost $50. So I hope you got something out of this and please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. I'll talk to you on the next one. Michael, out.